eighty one raised to the power x plus eighty one raised to the power x plus eighty one raised to the power x is equal to eighty one. We have to find the value of x. So let's try. Here all the numbers are same, so we can take eighty one raised to the power x as common. So eighty one raised to the power x, then one. So eighty one raised to the power x divided by eighty one raised to the power x is equal to one. So one plus one plus one. Is equal to eighty one. Again, eighty one raised to the power x times three is equal to eighty one. Or eighty one we can write it as three raised to the power four. Then whole raised to the power x times three. Here also eighty one as three raised to the power four. Now we have an identity where if a raised to the power m whole raised to the power n, then we can write it as a raised to the power m times n. So we can write this as three raised to the power four x. Times three is equal to three raised to the power four. Now we can send this three to the right hand side. So let's write it as three raised to the power four x is equal to three raised to the power four. This is multiplication. So when you send multiplication to the right hand side, it will be division. So it will be upon three. Now we have an identity where a raised to the power m upon a raised to the power n. Then we can write it as a raised to the power m minus n. So three raised to the power 4x is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 because here the power is 1 or 3 raised to the power 4x is equal to 3 raised to the power 3 now here both the bases are same and we know if a raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power n and when a is not equal to 0 or 1 then m is equal to n means that If the bases are same, then we can compare the exponents. So four x is equal to three, or x is equal to three upon four. This is our answer. We can check this answer by substituting the value of x here. Let me know if you were able to solve this question. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.